We're finally tackling the kitchen today. I'm hoping that maybe by the end of next week the whole kitchen will be done, which I'm really excited for. So what we're gonna do today is tile the kitchen. And when you do tiles in campers, you generally don't wanna add any extra weight to it. So I found these peel and stick backsplash tiles. Um, these are from Amazon. When I got them on Amazon, they were only $14 each. Um, the last time I checked, I think the price went up to maybe like $20, maybe even $24, which is kind of crazy that it went up so drastically. Maybe it went back down again. I'm not positive. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is put these all along the backsplash of our kitchen. So in order to find the correct measurements, I basically just measured the length of the wall and the height of the wall and then there's um online there's like square inch calculators a bunch of you guys were asking how i did that for the shiplap wallpaper that i put in so if you guys want to see the shiplap wallpaper video i will also link that down below but basically you just add in the measurements and it calculates everything for you so then you can figure out how many of these you will need i got um five packages so I'm really hoping it's enough. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna stop talking and let's get into this. But first, Mama Mia, every project I've ever done in the camper, I've been listening to this on YouTube. It's the Mama Mia soundtrack. Um, it's the first movie and second movie, all of their songs. It is just the best mood booster and just makes me feel really productive listening to it. So I'm gonna put this on and get started. So here is a before of what it looks like. It looks really rough right now and I was so excited to do this because I knew it would add such a huge change to the camper. So I am just unscrewing everything and then we had this top molding that I just took out. So now I'm taking some sandpaper and going over the area. It's a pretty rough sandpaper. Um, I just wanted to make sure that the tiles were going to stick properly. And the prep work is always so important. I feel like a lot of people overlook this and they just go straight into putting the tiles up. But you definitely want to take the extra 20 minutes that it'll take for prep work and just do it. Um, so I just went over on the whole area and did that. Next, I just added a little bit of Windex to a paper towel and just went over the area to make sure that there was no dust because if there is any dust, then the tiles will not stick. So now it's time for the application. And this is what one sheet looks like. It has this clear film over it. You guys can install it with the film on and then take the film off after if you want or take it off at first. It's really up to you. It doesn't make a difference at all. So what I'm doing is cutting off these excess pieces because this is going to be our first piece that's going to go straight against the wall and we don't need that. You could install it and then take um, an X-Acto knife and then cut it off. The issue I was having was that these are really hard to cut with a blade. The grout part was very easy but when you're trying to cut through the actual tiles I was having a um, difficult time with that so I just took a pair of scissors and chopped that as evenly as I could. So now I'm just going to place this against the wall. I feel like when you look at this process, you would think it's so simple and so easy. It's just peeling and sticking things on. But I actually had some trouble with it. You guys will see later. I kind of had another one of my little meltdowns, but everything was okay after that. Something else that I wanted to mention that was really great about this is that I actually um, prepped the area by using some bin primer about a month ago. Um, as you guys can see, there's some white on the backsplash area because I wasn't sure if the tiles were going to be see-through. A lot of these tiles, um, you can see right through them, so you do have to paint your um, area white first. But luckily, these ones were so opaque that you couldn't see through them. So if you guys do go with this specific tile and brand, then you won't need to worry about what's behind the tiles. So like I said, the blade cut really well through the grout part. So for there, I just cut it, but then I realized it's probably easier just to cut it with scissors before I even put it up. Something else I want to mention is make sure you keep all of your spare tiles because you'll be able to fill in a lot of areas. This is kind of like a puzzle. Basically, you just need to get it back into all of the right spots. However, 
it is a little tricky and I definitely recommend just taking your time with it. So here's kind of a close up of what I mean by the tile is pretty thick and it's a little bit hard to cut through. Um, I was having some issues. I've never had this issue before, but um, I made it work. It doesn't look the prettiest, the cuts that I made, but the switch plate covers it, so it's completely fine. So I recommend either just going in with this with a really strong hand. Um, my dad actually came in and he was able to help me um, cut some of them because I think he probably just is a little stronger than I am um, or just get something really sharp to cut it with. So spots like this are really great for the excess tile that you would have saved and you can just cut them and fit them right in and it just goes in so seamlessly. So right here is where I started to notice some issues with the tile. Um, if you guys can see to the left and to the middle, you can see that the grout lines look a little bit bigger and something just looks kind of off, but all to the right, the tiles just look really seamless and great. Um, you guys will see this in a little bit and I'll kind of explain it more of what happened and how I fixed all of that. Um, but yeah, basically you can just keep um, cutting some of your tiles and pasting them into spots like right here. I did that and it was really helpful to have saved all of the tiles. I also saved all of the end pieces of the tiles and those fit in perfectly for this little spot by the window. I literally just need to fill in these few little gaps and it worked out so well. So it is currently 6.08 p.m. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I've had quite a wild ride with this tile. Um, when I was first doing it, sorry, there's a dog barking, but I can't even right now. I've been working on this all day, and you know, like when you're so over a project, that's how I feel right now. The first like five tiles I put up were beautiful, everything was great, and somewhere along the way, the tiles started to not look so good. I wish I filmed what it looked like, I should have showed you guys, but basically, with these tiles, you have to be so precise and make sure that they are like in the exact spot that they need to be in otherwise um if they overlap each other in like the slightest way that's not correct it shows and it shows so drastically when i stepped back and looked at it it looked it didn't look horrible but like it just did not look good so connor helped me we took off all of the tiles and we used like clear gorilla glue just to make sure everything would stick we put them all back up so it's been quite an adventure um i'm gonna come back tomorrow morning my stomach is growling i'm super hungry I'm gonna come back in the morning and just like screw in everything else i need to screw in and also um cut off all of the sides and like excess pieces so i'm just gonna update you guys in the morning so it's a brand new day, finally. I'm so happy to be starting fresh. So I wanted to show you guys, I only issue that I had with the actual tiles was that this one sheet was a darker blue than the rest of them, so I wasn't able to use that, but these are all of the excess pieces that I had left over, which is awesome. Next, I'm taking this Gorilla Glue. It's the heavy um, construction adhesive, and it's in like a caulking tube. So I'm just putting a little bit of that on a Q-tip and there was maybe one or two um, of these tiles that looked like they could just use a little bit of extra glue. It wasn't anything crazy. They weren't popping up, but I just wanted to make sure that they were really secure. So I took that and just pasted that on. We do have to install the new um, switch, but I don't wanna do that without Connor because I'm a little nervous. So I just put the white switch plate on and there's obviously still a lot of things we need to do in the kitchen, so just put the trim up and the counter, but I just wanted to show you guys the application of the tile and what it looked like. Ta-da! Here is the tile. So I'm just gonna go over and show you guys everything very quickly. 
So first, we need a better cutting tool. The X-Acto knife that we have isn't cutting through this. This stuff is so thick. I don't think you guys can really see how thick it is. It cuts through the white part very easily, but not the actual blue tile. Um, so we need something to cut this straight. The tile looks so beautiful. It's kind of picking up a little bit differently on camera, the color. In person, it's like a light um, beachy blue. I feel like on camera, it looks kind of dark. Maybe if I put the brightness up. Yeah, okay, so this is how it looks in real life. It's a little white on camera right now, um, like this stuff, but this is what the actual color looks like. As you guys can see, the seams blend in so well. Um, it just fits in really well together and looks beautiful. Like right here, you can kind of tell, I don't even think you can on camera, um, it looks like maybe a little not perfect, but it's very hard to tell because you just look at it as a whole and everything just looks really put together. We did have an issue, I honestly have no idea what happened here, but the tile was not lining up. I don't know if it's because like it's uneven or what happened, but it didn't line up. It's okay though because the molding is gonna come down to probably like here. And then I'm just gonna put the curtain around. I was gonna put it here. I'm just gonna put it up a little bit higher. So you're not even gonna see any of that. It's gonna be covered. Um, but it was a little frustrating, but I had to like let go of it being perfect. But this is how it looks. Um, it feels like it's gonna be really easy to clean. They do say to keep it 15 inches away from heat. Um, so we'll just use like the front burners when we put the stove back in. Um, but from what I've read on the reviews, no one's really had any issues with it. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I am just so excited about it and I can't wait to finish the rest of the kitchen. I feel like it's gonna pull everything together so nicely. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would definitely recommend doing this tile. I think it came out so great. I still can't get over how real it looks. It has a very 3D um, finish to it. So it just looks so real and so great. But I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.